Coach, two things. One, uh, at left tackle, how are Mincy and, and Crawford and Davidson? Man, they're all uh, doing well, competing. You know, it, it, it was the first day of pads yesterday. I thought they all, including those three, kind of melted a little bit just with the heat. Uh, and came back today and we're flying around, doing well, man. It, it, to say who's where or what, I, I couldn't do that for you if that's where that sucker's heading. But uh, they're competing really, really well. And is there much difference in your left tackle and your right tackle in your scheme? Not really. Yeah, and, you know, just because of how uh, we protect and the tempo piece of it, um, not a huge, not a huge difference at all. Rob in West. Coach, do you have a timetable for when you'd like to you know, get set up a tackle? Like, so many days at camp, or you just let it play out? Yeah, I mean, t typically you hope you have a direction after the first scrimmage, and then you kind of solidify after the second scrimmage. You know, some years you're fortunate that it happens before then if there's a bunch of returning guys, but. Uh, you know, hopefully by the first scrimmage have an idea, and then for sure by the second scrimmage probably need to know and give those guys a chance to play as many snaps together as they can. With, with, with everything that, that <clears throat> Cooper Mays went through last year, how much did you learn about sort of his toughness and what he'll what he'll go through to play, and, and also how has he done so far in camp this year? Yeah, man. I mean, he, he's. <laughs> He's a tough son of a gun now, both uh, him and his brother. Um, guy loves loves the game of football, loves the physicality part of it, will absolutely throw his body around. Um, and it's just old school in the fact that you try to tape it up and keep on keep on going. Um, I don't know, he's, he's done a great job this camp. I think his off season was even better than the previous one. I think Coach Smith did a great job with him. He's stronger. He's able to kind of lift and sit some things down that he wasn't doing last year. Um, I don't know. Man, he's freaking smart. Way smarter than his coach. Brent and Vince. Coach, are you, are you set on Darnell on the right side? And how unusual is it for a guy to want to play a different side than he played a year ago? And what do you think makes him more comfortable on the right than the left? Uh, no, I'm not at all set with Darn Darnell on the right. Um, I think you got to find who the best tackles are and where we can go have the best chance to win. Um, as far as him playing right, like it's as unselfish and as team oriented as anything could possibly be. We had a talk after the season. Felt like uh, to give us a chance, he needed to take some reps at right and see if he'd be able to do that to help guys that only played left and. I mean, without skipping a beat, he was, I mean, it wasn't even like a blink of the eye. He's like, man, just whatever helps us win, helps us be the best. And um, I think that's part of his maturation process. Probably didn't say that right. Shouldn't use words like that. Uh, but I think that's part of him just getting a little bit older and more mature. He, um, he just team guy. He talks in the meeting room. He's taking notes. Um, just fun to be around, man. Had a great day yesterday. Probably the highlight of yesterday. I'm hoping it looks just as good today. How different is Addison Nichols now compared to the spring? I think all the freshmen uh, are a lot different. Him for sure. I think the game slowed down a lot for him. Uh, he's understanding, like when he makes a mistake, he already knows it versus having to go into the film room, watch it, and talk about it. Like it's instantaneous. Man, I should have called this or I should have done this. Um, I think. Now the challenge for him is, you know, he's taking a few reps with twos and starting to move um, and take some uh, reps at different positions, like handling all that mentally and the physical. You know, you start going against better bodies. The technique has to be a little cleaner. The speed of play has to be a little faster. But uh, he's done a great job, man. It's a lot, lot on a freshman. Where are you looking at him at? Man, so he took reps everywhere during the summer. Um, in fall camp, it's been center and guard mainly. Yeah, 100%. I think it's now they're able to, I don't know, the questions in the meeting room are so much different. Like they see the whole picture, they understand the whole scheme, they can correct one another, uh, they can help young guys, they can be out there and the defense puts in something crazy for install and on the fly they're putting bodies on bodies and doing it really, really fast. The 
technique that goes with the play starts to clean up because they know what they're doing. They're not having to think as much. It's just all those things that happen the second year. And I think, too, like JC and Coop and even Sprague and Dane, like guys are being super vocal, man. And uh, if something's not the right way, they're getting it fixed and just a fun, fun bunch to be around. Yeah, I think they're both uh, adjusting to the speed of the game right now because it is, you know, not just the tempo piece of it, just so much faster than what high school and junior college is. They're both absolutely trying to learn as much as they possibly can all summer through this point. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time. Um, I think they're both doing really, really well for the least amount of experience in the room. Savion, um, you know, he's not there right this second, but he's – He's grinding at it. Um, both of them, like it's, as long as they keep on the path where it's, you know, day one was this, and then day two was this, and day three, and day four, and you keep slowly building, they'll be fine by the time we get where we need to be. Um, just, you can't hit that law. And I think that's the toughest part sometimes the first time in college camp is you just in the middle of it. It's just like you hit that wall and you're done. So they just got to keep grinding. One hundred percent, yeah. I especially like man, you make a, a silly, a silly mistake. Um, yeah, that that can't can't be us. Can't be who we're about. They're they all know better, man. Like they, you can get in the meeting room. I mean, it sounds like a freaking chorus or something. Like the answers of the questions and everybody saying the same word. Like the accountability. Um, when something is not right, it's definitely piss you off a whole hell heck of a lot more. Jimmy and Wes. Coach, couple things. What are the key attributes that you look for in the center? Oh, gosh. Uh, man, you got intelligence has to be up there just because you're making decisions so fast. Um, and it's really you're you're the coach out on the field because you have to change it on third downs and get us right and there's so much involved with that obviously you have to just be unbelievably tough um i think that's kind of got to be the cornerstone of the offense line that guy better be the toughest son of a gun on the field um and then just the athletic ability because we do pull that guy um and then obviously as much girth width anchor ability as you can possibly get you also said in the spring that the key to being better on third down is being more physical. Mm -hmm. In the off season, did you see signs of this offensive line being more physical? Did man, you know, the weight program was different. Uh, the way they had to push and strain, um, even going against each other uh, during the summer and drills, like they were, they were just different. So, be exciting. Third downs, really kind of around the corner here, third and short. So, we'll find out. That's great news. We always do. Ben, I'm not sure any coach, a football coach, ever really feels super comfortable about anything, maybe ever. But you know, offensive line being a position where where older guys can often really, really help you and the strength and knowledge and everything. Having so many of those kinds of guys right now in the program, does that give you any slighter sense of comfort or, or anything? Feeling like hey, I got a bunch of vets here. <laughs> Man. Uh, if you stay healthy, <laughs> maybe. Um, no, I mean, it's fun. Like, I love the room. I love walking into it. I love being around the guys. Like, that sense of comfort, knowing where they're at and the guys that are getting better, you know, the Lampley's, Ollie's, like, all Danes, like, everybody competing and getting better. Yes, there's a level of comfort. Um, to a certain extent, but I don't know. To be honest, probably not, because the season's coming. You're thinking about all the three more questions. All the stuff. Eric, Grant, then we'll finish with Patrick. Where's uh, Javon describing right now? Kind of how has he gotten better uh, over the year, playing all last year? Where does he still need to make some 
I mean, I think his biggest improvement has been protection for sure. He's always been just a freaking grinder in the run game. But his eyes, knowing where he's supposed to be, uh, who the ID is, staying in a, a pass pro position, not getting out over his toes and using his hands. Um, pass protection for sure to me is a night and day different from last year. And he's put in a lot of time and worked to get to that point. Injuries last year forced you to play different combinations, which gave some guys experience. Would you consider rotating guys, or are you a guy that you want to play five if they're healthy the entire game, or, or would you, with this style of offense, be comfortable playing six or seven in the game? Yeah, no, we've rotated. Um, anytime you can have depth and you feel comfortable, I mean, it's it's awesome. Give guys a, a breather once or twice a half. Um, you know, let somebody take 20 or 30 snaps a game, maybe even more, or split it. Definitely helps. Um, so, looking forward to staying healthy and having that ability. Coach, going, going back to Darnell, how, how different is he from, from just 20 years ago when you guys are just moving to the left and it's all new to him? And what are your maybe expectations for what he can do this season, whether he's at right or left? Yeah, I think Darnell's just – Man, just growing each day, like just so so proud of him. Like the the way he practiced yesterday was just unbelievably physical. The questions that he asked in the meeting room, the attention, like you can just see him trying to be different in the way that he focuses, um, and even things he's trying to work technique-wise. Just not, man. Like on our case, that if we're not helping him get to a point, man, he wants to get there. He wants extra drill work. He wants extra reps. He wants to work. Like, I, I think that's something I'm not sure. Um, you know, he probably did a little last year, but it's just so pronounced this year. He's just such a such an improved um, player, and I'm just excited for it, man. Hope he keeps, keeps it up and just has a phenomenal year. Thank you, Coach. Yes, sir. Thank you.